Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen, I'm Valmore. In today's video, I am going to be bringing you two recipes from the Necro Nom Nom Nom. The first is a pickled vegetable mixture of cauliflower and peppers. The other is a roast beef sandwich that may be a part of a ritual to summon Yog Sathoth. This is Cho Cho Chow Chow and to call forth the sandwich horror. Let's get started. So for the chow chow, I am going to dice up onion, red pepper, yellow pepper, and banana pepper. To get this started, I am going to put the cauliflower into a pot. Add in the onion, lemon juice, white vinegar, salt, sugar, and crushed red pepper flakes. And I'm gonna add in some water, and I am going to bring that to a boil and then let it simmer for an hour. After letting that cook for about an hour, I'm now going to add in all my peppers. And I am going to let that cook for five more minutes. The Chocho are a group of people who have a distinct evolutionary track from humans leading back to some distant ancestor. This evolution track is believed to be different because they were experimented on by the old ones. And now, having let that cook for five minutes, and breaking down the cauliflower to a smaller size, I am going to let this sit off the heat for 30 minutes. Now before serving, I am going to put in some horseradish and some thyme. Mix those in and this is ready to serve. And now for my sandwich, there's not gonna be a lot of prep to go into this. I wanna make a cross section on top of my pretzel bun and then cut the skin off some pickle spears. Now to put together the sandwich, I'm going to start with roast beef. Lay down my pickles to look as though tentacles are coming out. Roasted red pepper, almond slivers, and they're going to be placed around to give the look of teeth. A slice of Swiss cheese, ripped to be kind of circular in shape. And then I want to put this into the microwave to melt the cheese a bit. So hopefully like 10, 15 seconds. Then I am going to top it with some pesto. The same recipe I used not too long ago to make another pesto. Then top with the bun and decorate with a stuffed olive. Just trying to get this video made this week was a massive pain. Not because of any difficulty brought on by the recipes, these were both fairly simple to put together, but I just had so many problems this week. I normally do all the work on Saturday, but my power went out this weekend. Again, that's two weeks in a row. Sunday, I had all kinds of other plans, so I did the chow chow on Sunday. And then as I went to finish this off today, I had to change the tire on my car, and then that went sideways. It's like some power doesn't want me to cook any more recipes from this book. Perhaps I am summoning forth unspeakable horrors. Or perhaps not. I guess we'll find out. But as for the food itself, the chow chow is very good. It is a strong flavor coming from a very acidic pickling base. So this may not be something that everybody enjoys. It wasn't spicy 
But the horseradish and the banana peppers that had a bit of heat, they, they're banana peppers, they're never really that hot. So there was a little bit of something there, but it wasn't overpowering. And I was a bit surprised to just find out how sweet this actually was. Like I know I put some sugar in there and you know the sweet peppers, but I still expected the sweetness to mellow a bit. The sandwich too was pretty good. I mean, that kind of lunch meat roast beef is salty and a little rich. There is a little element of sweet from the roasted red pepper. The pickles added this sour, acidic flavor, a pleasant crunch from the almonds throughout, and topped off with that wonderful, herby, fresh pesto. I really enjoyed the sandwich, and I think both of them actually worked well together as like a sandwich with a side. Well, I hope you enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll put the links in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.